ready or not, here we come then, five nights, there's four, there's five, wind them up and let them go. Can Mantic Emerson do anything about Freak ahead of him? It's a very good start by, by the Pulse he holds on to the number one spot away from the Mercedes. The Red Bull slots into third, and there's Cosmic Guy hanging on to fourth position as well. There's Prox. Oh, and there's a look on the inside by the Ferrari. Doesn't quite come on for anything. And everyone's through quite uh, cleanly to start with. Everyone through all the carbon most fibers still in place. Look at that. That is uh, Cosmic Guy and Prox. You can see very, very close together. And oh, no, no sooner do I say that we have trouble. It's Prox that's fallen to the back of the field. He's had trouble around turn three. Yep, that has uh, lost him, well, all of the positions. He's way down in last and with a handful of time as well, too. A handful of seconds to the drivers up ahead. It is still pretty close up at the front as uh, uh, Michael Schmidl, Magic MSM, he's taken the lead of the race from N2G 2011 Freak. And uh, uh, Ven 97 in the background here in the Red Bull going to follow them through. Absolutely, and here's Synthetic, a, uh, a stalwart in the uh, AOR PS4 Racing Leagues. He's gone for that move on Yana Racing 5. Has he gone a little bit too deep in the Renault at Turn 1? The Soros has come back at him now. It's going to be Yana that's going to have the advantage. Oh, bit of wheel banging going on. So it looked like Synthetic just grazed the wall after Turn 2. They're still side by side now. The Toro Ross is still having the inside lines. They're coming into Turn 3. There you see how Pro 46 is trying to close in with the pack. He is closing that gap ever so slightly. Still side by side, the Renault and the Toro Rosso. They bang wheels and Synthetic has to fall back in line. The Renault is going to have to pick another opportunity to try and get past Yano. Very nicely defended. Already he was uh, looking like he was defended. Oh, big moment. He's, that's a huge bit of front wing that the McLaren's now missing. That's almost certainly going to pull him into the pits this time round. Yeah, Vamos Danny practically pushing him through that all-important turn 16. I think with the benefit of the slipstream here, the Sauber is going to get by whether the McLaren goes into the pits or not. It looks like Pro 46 is into the pits as well as Yarno Racing 5. So three drivers into the pits at the end of lap two. They'll have an 11-lap stint to make. But again, we saw yesterday you can pit at the end of the first lap and still make it to the end of this race. So these guys are not out of this race just yet. We have lost Pro 46. He's uh, come a cropper somewhere in sector one. He is now out of this race. And there he is in the Force India. We're looking at the battle for the top three. That all-important battle. Vamos Danny decides now is his time to pit. The Mercedes leads the Williams, leads the Red Bull. And there is next to nothing in it. And there in the background, you see them battle. We were recently looking at Cosmic Gama Sutil. They're battling for fourth. But if the top three come to grief, they're in a prime position to pick up the pieces. And yet again, it is a 2011 freak that has got himself right under that rear wing of the Mercedes. It's nearly pushing the car along. We could be seeing uh, some guys coming into the pits. And in fact, all three of them are, com are coming into the pits at the end of lap five. That's very surprising that none of them are going to try something different on the other two, because that really is their safest and best opportunity to make an overtake on one of these guys or extend the gap, closing in pretty significantly on that short run down towards turn two and into turn three. He's pushing the McLaren through less than a car length between the two of them. He's going to get the DRS as well. Oh, and the Ferrari of Cosmic Guile is right on the back, actually, of Ben 97. Uh, again, this is for what is essentially a podium position because Sutil and uh, yeah, Sutil has not come into the pits yet. As we look at uh, Vamostani and RC Spider Sauber trying to do something against the McLaren side by side. Very nice if he can make a stick. Oh my goodness me, that was so narrow between the Sauber and the wall. The McLaren still defending the position, brilliantly defended though. And through turn four for the McLaren, so the RC Spider maintained the position very nicely done indeed. And that is Sitzel just coming out of the pits. That's very close to the Red Bull. Can he hold on the position? Oh, a little bit of contact, of course, because Cecil's on a different strategy to others. He's got the softer rubber on, the t on his car. Can he make it work? He's just right to power ahead of uh, Ben 97. Can he hold on to it as he comes into turn three? Yes, he does. The Haas has managed to take that third position. His Magic MSM is closing up to the back of the Williams. Less than two car lengths between them as he opens up the DRS. Freak is going to get defensive into turn one. Left-hand side for the Williams. The right-hand side will have to go around the outside for uh, Magic MSM. Around the outside he goes for turn one. It looks like they're still side-by-side -side out of the corner. He'll have to do it again around the outside of turn two. Who's going to pick up the DRS here? I think the Mercedes will. The Williams regains the position temporarily, and actually the Williams got the DRS there, Chris. In less than four laps remaining in this Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Again, the Williams currently leading 2011 Freak.
Magic MSM keeping the pressure on, coming through 15, down the hill to 16. He wants a decent run out of this turn. He knows this is his best opportunity, and he does get a very good run. He's right behind the Williams now. It's less than four tenths. He's closer than he was last time. Through 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now he's going to be in the slipstream. He's closer than he was last time around. He's going to get the DRS. He wants that top spot. It is one more lap to go. And he's going to have the move done before they get the break. It's going to, it's going to be how he holds it around the outside of turn one. And no, he's gone for the switchback. Can he now get the inside of turn two? NTG, NTG Freak has held onto it and well defended there by the Williams. Vamos Danny coming under attack from Synthetic 96 in the Renault, not very far behind. But again, he also really only has one major opportunity unless there's just a massive difference on tire life and compound between the two of them. So uh, unless that's the case, his best opportunity will be as they're making that sprint across the line. He really just needs to set himself up for a good exit out of 16. Oh no, and he hits the barrier in the castle section. And there is that opportunity wasted. He is now gonna be well outside of the DRS range, going back on board with the battle for the lead, the Williams of MTG 2011 Freak is leading with Magic Mike MSM in the Mercedes behind as they come across the start finish line for the final time, for the 13th time in this Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And it looks like the Mercedes is not going to be close enough to take that win as they cross the line separated by less than two tenths of a second. TGT Sutil in the end in that third place position.